uh, Mineta, uh, and others. And we have the stand down order from June of that year taking the default power for brass to shoot down hijacked uh, aircraft uh, that were going to be used as weapons or that were going to crash into populated areas. So you also have that. They then rescinded that stand down order a week after 9 11. Okay. Uh, and just one follow-up thing. Um, the article I originally read was on 911truth.org. Um, as of that article being published on March 24, I have not seen anything in mainstream media or even local news in New Haven, Connecticut, uh, addressing the court case. Are, are, is that deliberate, that they're not speaking about it? Absolutely. They don't want a survivor uh, who had her baby there that day. You know, they let them have their baby a couple days a year come, your children. Uh, with the secretaries, and she barely survived and was basically told to shut up, and it's a key piece of uh, testimony, and we're going to work on getting her on. Um, the producers are listening, and I give the green light to that. Thank you, Adam. I I'm happy to take Adam's question because we're open phones. Does anybody want to talk about the cover-up of the radiation and the media and the government saying they're going to raise safe levels? Uh, I mean, I'm not s scolding you. I'm glad you brought that up, but I hope somebody is concerned about this radiation and the fact that the government's covering this up. Uh, let's go to Richard in Vermont. Richard, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? Good. Okay. Um, in the New York, New York Times and the Asia Pacific uh, section from yesterday's paper, article by James Glantz and William J. Broad uh, from April 5th, name of the article is U.S. sees array of new threats at Japan's nuclear plant. Yeah, I just mentioned that, yeah. Okay, and they don't get to, this is one of those footnote things that they just happen to throw in there, the seventh paragraph down. Okay, now when you and I saw that, I, I actually was a guy that called you and told you that they had blown plutonium rods all over the place after we were trying to figure out what was coming out of that 3,000 foot cloud. That's right, you're a former nuclear worker. I'm, you've called before, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, down in regards to three weeks and four days ago when I called, you and I were sure that we saw stuff get flying out of that. Well, they admit right? they were storing 644,000 rods yeah. on top of these facilities and it was clearly rods. I said that the day I saw it, that Monday, you know, three days into the event. I said, looks like fuel rods, and it turns out, here it is. The document also suggests that fragments or particles of nuclear fuel from spent fuel rods above the reactors were blown up to one mile from the units. Yeah, it was 3,000 feet tall, because I looked up those towers, or 1,000 feet. It was at least, at least three times taller uh, th than those. And yeah, they're saying right here in their reports uh, that it splattered fuel rods up to a mile away. Yep, and the pieces of highly reactive or radioactive material fell between two of the units, which <laughs> doesn't that make it a nice, cozy little place in there between two of the units? We know for a fact that it had blown within a mile, and I, I don't know if you recall or if you ever saw one of the um, uh, examples that they give on how radiation spreads. They put a room full of mice trap, mouse traps. And they have a ping pong ball set on instead of a piece of cheese on each one of those. And they take one ping pong ball and they throw it into the middle of the room. And within a matter of seconds, all the rest of the mouse, mouse, mice traps in the room all fire off. And the ping pong balls are flying all over the place. Well, what happens when that stuff hits the, when particularly plutonium, uh, uh, plutonium isotopes hit the soil, all right? Now, this is spread around within a mile. Those things spread. Each molecule of dirt spreads it onto the next molecule of dirt, and it just starts spreading out farther and farther. And for them to bulldoze over these things, it's like having a field of landmines, and you don't even have to step on something. Well, sure. Else. I mean, for, for uh, billions of years, the radioactive half-life of uranium is four and a half bill. Uh, on average, depending on the variant of it from what we've seen and the physics we've had on, and it's going to be leaching into the soil, the water table, the ocean. Uh, and, and, and that's what we said when, when, when number one blew up uh, on Saturday. We wrote an article, Kurt Nemo did, uh, and, and we linked to other articles that Drudge picked up uh, from some of our auxiliary writers where we said, looks like fuel rods were blown sky high. I'm not bragging, it's just we don't make stuff up here. And then Monday, the Mox 3, uh, number three, blew sky high. And, I mean, clearly, that damaged the core. And later they admitted, yeah, it damaged the core. And that explosion looked like a nuke went off. I mean, of course it damaged the core.
uh, and, and this stuff is spreading. It's terrible. Richard, uh, you want to add anything else after the break, or are you done? Uh, no, go ahead and go to your break. Yeah, I'm pretty well done. All right, God bless you. And you were absolutely right, sir. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. The earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear disaster that killed thousands of Japanese citizens is nothing compared to the devastation that could be caused by hyperinflation that will soon hit the United States and could lead to millions of Americans becoming homeless, all caused by the devalued U.S. dollar. While the mainstream media continues to ignore inflation, our friends at the National Inflation Association provide a free weekly newsletter that educates Americans to the facts and truth about the U.S. economy and inflation. I urge you to sign up at the NIA's free newsletter at www.inflation.us to learn how you can not only survive, but prosper during the upcoming hyperinflation crisis. Silver has more than doubled since the NIA declared silver the best investment for the next decade on inflation.us. The NIA's team of expert economists are happy to answer any economic questions you have about inflation, debt, currencies, real estate, precious metals, and commodities. Visit inflation.us to learn the economic truth that the mainstream media ignores. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $220. And the Berkey Guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Do you want to learn more about preparing for the hard times ahead? Have you ever thought about actually getting off the grid and becoming truly self-reliant? Introducing Off the Grid News, a weekly newsletter for independent Americans who want practical advice on how to survive and even prosper in an increasingly dangerous world. It's the best way to get a black belt in emergency preparedness, survival skills, and off-the-grid living. Packed with hard-hitting information on gardening, food preparation, alternative energy, and home security, there's simply nothing like it. And the best part, this $100 annual subscription is now free of charge. Simply sign up today and you'll also get our hard-hitting report, Food Shock, why 2011 could be the single most important year in American history to plant a family garden. It's absolutely free for listeners who sign up at offthegridnews.net. That's offthegridnews.net. Get your free Food Shock right now at offthegridnews.net. Thing. They're dumping 7.5 million times safe levels of a uh, cocktail of radioactive poisons into the Pacific Ocean. Um, this New York Times article does have buried that the government and Japanese report says that they did, did spray fuel rods everywhere, that they're just bulldozing upwards of a mile away, not even picking them up. They're just burying them on the spot. I mean, this is insane. Not even marking where they're at. This just shows the ham-fisted, not caring attitude of these people. And why not? They can just say radiation is now good for you and raise it 25,000 times with one isotope, 10,000 times with another. And that's all in the news. The EPA just calmly reporting it like it's no big deal. And then we're the alarmist conspiracy theorists for being concerned. Later in the third hour, I'll talk about this a little bit, but I want to go to your calls right now. And then Lindsey Williams at eight after. We'll get Lindsey on at eight after second segment so I can finish up with these callers. Uh, the Huffington Post is reporting, and we'll get a link to this up on InfoWars.com right now. Uh, the best place to find it is up at the Drudge Report right now. It's the top link, uh, big headline, Beck out at Fox. And this is exactly how I predicted they would do it. Uh, it. It's like when they took Gibson, 
uh, I've been a guest on his show and his radio show. When they took Gibson, New York Times also has it, back to in daily Fox News program. And uh, what they're doing is, uh, this is how they transition you off. He's going to go basically to a weekend show or special reports with Glenn Beck that you see occasionally. And that's basically what they've done with uh, people like Alan Combs when they kicked him off Hannity and Combs and it be just became Hannity. Uh, that he does specials and is a contributor to some of the shows. And so uh, he said on his radio program today that uh, they are phasing, that he's being phased out and transitioned off Fox. Now, I have three sources inside Fox. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I knew over a month and a half ago that the word was that the only person keeping Beck there was Roger Ailes and that it was being looked at that Beck would be gone. And that his ratings had dropped by about 35% in the last year and were continuing in free fall. Then last week, the numbers came out that he fell even more on TV. Still 2 million viewers, still more than CNN and MSNBC combined with their bigger shows. Uh, the, the, the real reason he's being run out of Fox is the fact that Media Matters, George Soros funded, took and, and brags uh, that they basically were instrumental in running off 400 plus sponsors. And now the memos have been released two weeks ago out of Politico that uh, Media Matters' job is to sabotage and destroy Fox, period. So I think Fox has made a big mistake here because now they're just going to turn their guns on Hannity and others, and even though I don't particularly like these guys as phony conservatives, it's it's uh, they're better than George Soros any day of the week. Uh, they'll at least be pro-gun and talk about cutting taxes. Uh, and Beck would talk about the Federal Reserve and the New World Order. He was a lot better than them. I, I would have loved to be able to support Beck as a lesser of evils compared to something like MSNBC, but he privately did stuff to 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 mess with my show. Uh, and to keep people off as guests and threaten and try to keep me off Fox News. And uh, so it, it's, 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 it's infuriating. Uh, but I'm not happy about this. He's gained 88 stations in the last year. The media says, ooh, he's lost seven, like he's losing affiliates. You always lose and gain affiliates. They change formats. Program directors have new ideas. His show's growing. He's doing better in radio than ever. And that's where his big audience is. He's only got two million on uh, Fox. He's got about six, seven million a day, over eleven million a week. And uh, though I find him disingenuous and distasteful and very deceptive uh, towards myself, playing edited tapes of me and things on air, uh, still uh, this is not good. This is not good news. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Diamond Gusset is proud to announce the anthem of the Patriot Movement. They're offering a free CD, T-shirt, and bumper sticker with a qualifying purchase. Diamond Gusset offers great products at great prices while keeping Americans working. I'm looking for a factory where a man can feed his family. Not worried about them moving it south. Closing the doors and shutting her down tomorrow. I'm looking for America. Wear American and be proud. Go to gusset.com forward slash America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Seems like I just woke up one day and it was gone. Long gone. But I know in my heart it's still Again, there. go to gusset.com. Forward slash America Today. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are back live. Pastor Lindsey Williams, certainly proven right yet again. Six months ago, Inside Sources, big oil company execs told him that they were going to stage events in the Middle East to create a crisis, that oil prices would go in the next six months to a year from a 60.